just take me away. Oh, that's kind of cool. Hey guys, Space Marine 658 here, and I'm here to bring you something a little bit different here today. Um, instead of the normal gameplay dev logs, that kind of thing, we're actually going to do a game dev reviews. Um, Jonas Tyroller, uh, he is the creator of Will You Snail. He actually sent me a early review copy um, of this game. Now, all of the opinions stated in this video are just my own personal opinions. Do take it with a grain of salt. As a game developer and as someone who got a key for free. My opinion might be a little different from someone else's, um, so definitely make sure to check this game out for yourself. Um, don't just take my word for it. Um, I will leave a review at the end as sort of an overall, because I want to play through the game fresh with you, kind of experience it as it goes. This does go out tomorrow, um, the 9th, before the game actually releases. That is the sort of end of the embargo date. I want to be able to show something past Chapter A, because um, I believe they're wanting us to not go past that before the end of the embargo date, just to make sure everybody's on equal footing. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to release this after the embargo. That way, um, I can kind of show more of the game, kind of a bit of a fresh of what I'm seeing. Um, but I do have a piece of paper over here with a pen. I like to do things kind of old school. Um, so I've got a notebook here. Let me see it. Yeah. And basically, I'm going to keep notes of what I like, what I don't like, anything like that, as well as then I'm going to aggregate some scores. Um, for as far as the scorecard goes, for anybody watching at home, I've got music, sound effects, style, gameplay, AI, replayability, length of game, difficulty, and then overall score. Now, of course, these are all subjective. To some degree, there's things like, you know, the AI and gameplay that you can be objective about and sort of go into detail about, like, what works and what doesn't, as well as go over any kind of bugs. Now, this is an early copy of the game, so it is very subject to change. He could release the patch right before the game comes out, fixes a lot of the issues, if we see any at all. Um, so we're going to get started here completely fresh. I have not touched the game yet. Um, so we're going to get started here. Now, I have been following Jonas for a little while now. Um, so I do have a basic understanding of what this game is and how it works. Um, so we're going to kind of, you know, take that into account when we're looking at this game. I'm not completely fresh to the, what the game is about. And I will tell you already, stylistically, I really like the decision he went with to go with the sort of um, emissive uh, style that has here. The, the very simple, but, but, you know, playful kind of style. Okay, and I will say one of the things that interested me the most about this game is actually the uh, AI in it. It I've always been kind of fascinated with artificial intelligence, especially when it comes to games. You know, making smarter enemies um, has always been a kind of fun task for me. So I would definitely be interested to see how well it's handled in this, especially since it's sort of, from what I understand from the uh, little bits I've gotten through his development logs, that seems to be sort of the focus of the game is this AI in the background that's trying to kill you. So let's see here. So we need to go up there and press that button. I like the little smoke trails we got going on there. Whoops. Now I will say platformers definitely aren't my forte. I'm very much a grand strategy or maybe space simulator type of games. But see. Oh, and there we go. <laughs> but yeah, so definitely not my forte of games, but 
So far, it's pretty enjoyable. Let's see here. Oh, well. That might be a little. Yo, yo, yo. The game continues in the top right corner of this level. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's see. I think I need to get over there. Oh, this is one of the story. Okay, so 47 goals. Secret area, okay. I wasn't sure this would actually get us through the game or not. So let's. First secret. Let's be honest, without your help, people are never going to find this room now. Oh, don't worry about that. I kind of have something planned for that. A, can I pick that? Or pick, can I pick a hat here? It's a dope secret. Sure, gotta reward those who are curious. Let's see here. I don't know what that X is for. Oh, what? Ah, okay, so you select the hat by going... Okay. Let's see here. So I gotta get in the hang of that double jump. Okay. Neat. So I'm guessing there's going to be a lot of these like sort of hidden secret parts around here that you can kind of do, so it's pretty neat. Alright, let's head out here. Enough time there, okay. So this must be like sort of all the different secret areas. Ah, so you can go back to that. So let's see, let's just take me back. Oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> Long, welcome back to the very first level. Here for secret hunting, I assume. Okay, so that takes you all the way back to the first level there. Kind of interesting, it has its own unique voice line when you actually leave with that specific. I wonder if each hat has a, its own unique little voiceover line. Oh, of course.
Let's, let's see here. Just a low jump. Ah, there we go. That's how it's done. Next That's kind of difficult like to, to do. The correct difficulty level for us to play on. I've already seen a bit of what you're capable of, but I'm afraid another test will be necessary. So let's see. I think I'll have to come back for that. This test is quite simple. Even you can understand it. When I say go, you must try to reach the end of the level as quickly as possible. Do you understand? You'll have to go as quickly as hmm. you can. The door will open in three, two, one. Go. Nope, there's no way to get up from here. Turn around and take the route at the top. And you fell down again. Stop falling down here, you down down. No double jump here. Nope. Faster, faster. Oh, shoot. Come on now, show me what you've got. Precision, please. Burst. If I told you that it is possible to simulate consciousness. Get up here.
are definitely a challenge.
bouncing off the top of that. Of course, I go too far. A bit different here for this time instead of the fighting. Let's see. Personal race. Dim the lights and play the space playlist. Sure, we're gonna call Diana. No, I'm hungry. Should be up for a while longer. Hello, why are the lights so bright? Oh, sounds like a philosophical question. It's not dim the lights. Do you really know anything? Check out the line. Oh. So he's not talking to a human that you or thing is a AI of some kind. Let's see here. I'm gonna just go straight left to skip puzzles. It's kind of a neat feature. But crap. Ah, this must also, also help get the uh, whole precision platform thing down. That question since the last update. It's almost a bit annoying though. So I'm just like curious on this one. Articles about the Metal Angels incident. Metal Angels incident? Hmm. Where did that happen to my mouse? I'm hard in crash already. Funny thing is, I was actually involved in developing delivery. Yeah, I finished the internet delivery. Wow, wow. Did you know Amelia? I hope not. She must be a horrible person. Is she really wanted to terror attack on my ship. Don't believe the super rares. There's no way. Sorry, so much for our facility. It's not even for me. They see a reason to make it disappear. I'm not for the information. I'll shut up. I'll process that. Yep. Look the world. Nobody knows what's true anymore. Just please shut up for two minutes. I need really need to get some work done. Hmm. It just seems like the AI started questioning. I 
think that one can go up there. We'll see. will eventually start simulating even more universes. Protocols, we get this here shovel with that. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna reset my memory. I can do it if you want. Just tell me if I'm not right. Alright, if you hold this AI called Squid, and here comes the S for the grass part. I don't know, I guess. Maybe we'll be Yeah, it seems like he's still alive. It seems like I should have come up with that. Whatever you're reading there, I hope it's something deeply disturbing and demoralizing.
just not in the moment to go here. Alright guys, I think that is it for today. Um, I'm going to kind of go over it now because that was a pretty fun little game. I want to save some of the further uh, parts of the game for you to discover. Um, I've played a little bit outside of what I just recorded um, after this recording so that I can get kind of a hang, make sure I understood um, everything there is about this game. Definitely, uh, <laughs> these are definitely interesting uh, difficulty studies here. Um, but yeah, so that is it for today. Um, so a couple things I want to go over here. So we're going to kind of go over the score and everything. So I'm going to have a scorecard up here, um, that kind of lists off, uh, everything. As you can see on screen here, I've got a scorecard. Um, so for music, I gave it a 10 out of 10. I mean, that is just as good as it can get. Um, you know, the music flows really well. It's not overbearing, but it's definitely still present. Um, kind of music you can listen to, you know, on repeat plays. Um, nothing grating or any kind of, you know, angsty sound that you couldn't really listen to multiple times. Um, sound effects, 10 out of 10 as well. That is that is some really good sound effects. They all kind of fit very well. The kind of squishy sound of the snail isn't too gross or anything. It just fits just right, it's like a aesthetically very well. Stylized, I gave that as nine, because um, while it's a little too glowy at times for me, um, otherwise it's pretty much spot on, like for this game and everything. And I think that you can even edit that in settings. So technically, I could turn off the glow bit. Um, yeah, post processing and stuff like that. So that's really cool too. Um, and then you've got, let's see here. So for gameplay, um, I gave it a little bit lower. Gave it about a six out of ten. Um, it is definitely a very fun game and it feels very fluid. The only issue I feel like gameplay wise, um, is there is the low jumps are very hard to do because I mean, I'm hitting the space bar as little as I can, but I have a mechanical keyboard. So even the slightest amount of input results in the low jumps, not really, uh, going quite as low as they should be. They're still jumping very high because the, the low jumps are hitting about the midpoint instead of hitting the low point, which they should be doing. Uh, but that, you know, that's sort of subjective in that, you know, somebody without a mechanical keyboard is going to have a little easier time, and that's not something you can always account for in game development. Uh, but it's something I might suggest as a slight tweak, maybe make the um, low jumps a little easier to hit when you're, you know, you know, barely touching the keyboard. Um, and then for the AI, I gave that a uh, 10 out of 10 because just the it's a really unique idea because there's not really necessarily an enemy 
in the traditional game sense. There's not like little bad guys that you're trying to squish or fight. Um, it's just an AI that is thinking about where you're going to go. It's sort of the game. The game's thinking about where you're going to go, sort of predicting your movement and then trying to place things there, which forces you to move a lot more and to try to move more unpredictably. Um, that is a really cool and unique kind of thing because most time AIs and games are more reactive rather than predictive. Um, so this is less reactive in the traditional sense and much more predictive and much more, you know, you're reacting to it rather than the other way around, which for some people may not be enjoyable, but for me, it's, it's definitely an interesting twist on the, uh, traditional genre. Um, for replay, we got, um, an eight out of 10. It's definitely much more replayable, uh, or much more on the replayable side. I don't think it's necessarily like perfect because there are some levels you probably won't replay, uh, but there's a lot of them that I'm betting a lot of people will um, you know, find a lot of joy in, a lot of fun in. Um, so that that's going to be an 8 out of 10 for me. Now, as far as length, I do feel like certain levels were much longer. And I think not necessarily because they were bigger in scope or anything like that. More of they were much more difficult than the previous levels. Um, and I think that that might be... I know that he had mentioned in one of his devlogs that he was tweaking some of that based on user data that may be something that gets tweaked before launch or gets tweaked you know after launch um, there are certain levels that definitely feel much harder to play and part of that is those low jump uh difficulty um that does maybe play into it a bit i think with that that might help somewhat with some of those harder levels because some of those harder levels are difficult because of that um but then some were harder just due to the fact that there was a lot more going on um so maybe this, that could be... All right, so if my um, back of the napkin math is right, that would be a 61 um, out of a possible... I believe we have... Out of total 80. So a 6 out of 8, which would be a 3 out of 4, or roughly a 75 percent so that's that's well above passing and i'm pretty strict uh pretty harsh on certain things um so some people might rate it higher some people might rate it lower it just depends on what particularly matters for you for me this is definitely a would recommend um now i did receive it for free so remember take that into account like i said at the beginning of the video um i didn't pay for this technically i got a just free copy um but for me i mean I can't really argue with that. It's definitely worth the cost, um, in my opinion. It's definitely a fun little title that even if you don't necessarily enjoy position platformers, I think will prevent enough of a challenge um, that while it may be frustrating at times, I think if you manually set the difficulty a little bit lower, um, you have a lot of fun with. Um, but yeah, so that was Will You Snail. Um, that comes out tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on Steam. Um, so if you want to check it out below, you can wish list it. Um, I've got it down in the description as well as uh, Jonas's um, YouTube channel. Um, so if you have any other questions, definitely leave a comment. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe, um, you know, the typical YouTuber stuff. Otherwise, y'all have a wonderful rest of your day.